What's up guys? This is the Awesome Nerd Show and we're bringing you a new episode of My Morphin Collection. Now for those of you that don't know, because this may be a new episode for people and stuff, um, My Morphin Collection episodes that are like segments that we do here on the channel are just um, me show, like pretty much showing off my uh, Power Ranger collection. So far it's just been me like showing uh, different Zords in it, so it's like me um, showing how to like morph them and all that sort of stuff, the toy Zords and stuff. Um, and I have a lot more stuff I want to show off, a lot more Zords I just taking a long time to get to them because of how the, like, do the setup for them and everything, um, takes a while for our, um, house and everything and stuff, um, so that's why they don't happen very much, but I plan on doing a lot more, um, other video stuff with a lot of Power Ranger stuff being out and everything, but today, um, we're gonna do an episode of this, which I'm sure you already know because you saw the, um, thumbnail and everything, um, but I'm going to uh, show like these off and then talk about my problem with where I got them and stuff. So, of course, as you know, it is the Power Ranger Funko Pops. And so, as you, it's hard to tell, but like behind me and stuff, we have the Pops. So, like this desk behind us, the back here, all the way up, filled with Star Wars. And then um, up, we have a room that's uh, got a bunch of shelves with all the other Pops on it. So, we have a lot of Pops. So, um, I don't show them off or do like Pop videos and stuff because I don't... Uh, feel they're that interesting but with something like this um with me loving power rangers and everything um, i thought this would be a perfect time to start doing pop videos and stuff um so we'll start first off with the yellow ranger so trini um so i got all of these from gamestop as soon as i found out you you know they're available and you could pre-order them i went and pre-ordered them so here is the yellow ranger and so there she's got her saber tooth tiger helmet on and stuff and then um, you can see the out design of her body and everything. It's hard to see with the lights and everything. So she has her um, uh, little pouch there with the um, power blaster. And then, of course, it's hard to see. I doubt you can see it anyways. Um, but, of course, on her chest, she has the um, Saber 2 Tiger logo, which, by the way, for as far as Power Rangers goes, um, never actually happened in the show. The only time they ever had the symbols on their chest was in the Power Rangers movie. So I think that's kind of funny and weird that they threw that in there because not many people unless you're like a pay attention to the power ranger stuff and everything you wouldn't even know that like because everything they make they put that on there because there's their chests just have the white uh diamonds on it that's all it is um so it's kind of boring and bland and stuff so now like with shirts and toys and stuff they add it on there just to add more design to it and stuff but you can see the detail um going into the helmet there which of course isn't I wouldn't say like a lot of detail, but it's, you know, Power Ranger detail because that's what their helmets were. So that was the Yellow Ranger. Next up will be um, the Black Ranger. So Zack, which is always a fan favorite. And so he was the Mastodon. And so there's close up. Maybe hard to see with all the black and stuff. But there's, you know, the Mastodon's um, trunk and uh, tusk and everything on there. Then, of course, there's a close-up of his chest, again, with the logo that never existed. He's got the Power Blaster in his belt, and so the back design and stuff. And, again, there's the, um, like, uh, engraved or carved-out detail and stuff of the helmet there. Um, so, of course, this one, I don't know if you can see, but on the foot there, um, this foot closest to the screen, it's got the, um, not a very good paint job on it. Um, none of these really have an awesome paint job. I mean, they're not, like, that's probably the worst one. Um, they're not horrible, but they're not the best either. So, not Funko's best uh, paint jobs. Um, but they've also, of course, had worse and, um, of course, better as well. Then next, we'll go with the Blue Ranger. So, Billy as the Triceratops. Always um, was one of my favorites. Not my top favorite, but... Um, he was, um, I was, always had Blue Ranger stuff, because, of course, Tommy stuff was always hard to find. So there, of course, is his helmet, and all the detail, of course, he's got the three horns on the top there, and then the eyes, um, like the golden eyes and stuff, and then, so, um, there, you can see the, um, detail on his chest, there, you can kind of see the Triceratops there. And then, of course, their belts, but they just are gold belts. They don't have their logos in them or, or anything. Of course, he's got his power blaster um, and the uh, sheath or whatever you want to call it on his belt. And, of course, the rest of him. Um, with Power Rangers, of course, you have just plain old detail 
on the side. I mean, helmets are their most um, detailed item about them. There's not much else that goes into a Power Ranger except they're just, you know, various colors and stuff. And so last, which is the cause of all my problems, the Green Ranger. Um, so Tommy, of course, my absolute favorite. Um, Green Ranger with the um, Dragon Zord here. So... Um, first I'll show them off and then I'll go into my whole spiel about GameStop and stuff. So there we have, um, of course, a close-up of his helmet with all the detail of the um, dragon features and stuff. There it actually kind of looks like a mouth like rah, rah, rah. Um, But he's got his chest plate, as you can see there. Um, of course, his bell, just like all the other ones. Then he's got um, his dragon sword, or uh, dragon dagger. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Um, but they're in the pocket, which is hard to see, and stuff. And then, of course, just the rest of them, which looks really awesome. Now, the whole thing with this. So, I pre-ordered this, like I said, from GameStop. Like, I still have the receipt and everything, because every time I pre-order stuff, I keep the receipts. Um, but I bought this at GameStop, or pre-ordered them at GameStop. I think it was back in April or May or something like that. It's been a while. Um, but I pre-ordered them back then. Um... And then, you know, we got the call from GameStop saying that they were in. Um, they said they, we have, they have four Power Ranger pops for us. So I went to the GameStop, which is the GameStop that we don't shop at often because it's in a mall. And we have an actual, like, store GameStop closest to us. And that's one we go to because obviously they have more room and more stock and everything. Um, but we went to the mall, like, we went to the mall one time just, like, because looking for an exclusive at uh, uh, one point. And the guy's um, the guy that works there was super nice and everything, and so he, you know, this was you know before way before this. It's probably about a year or so ago when I first started getting pops, or over a year ago. Um, and he was super nice and was like, "Oh, we can you know pre-order or order pops for you." And like this time, at this time, it was like I think the first set or around the first set of the Force Awakens pops. Um, and so he ordered them and like they were shipped out. So I just kept going there because they seemed a lot nicer in terms of pre-ordering pops and stuff. And so um, had no problems and everything. So when I found out about Power Rangers, I went there and um, pre-ordered the Power Rangers. So then they came, um, a guy called and said, you know, all four, you have four Power Ranger pops in that, you know, they're here and available and stuff for you to pick up. So I go in to get them um, like the next day or so. And they only have the black, yellow, and blue. And I was like, um, and he's, the guy was like, for some reason I can't find the Green Ranger. So he like searched, you know, looked everywhere he could, I guess you could say, um, and said he couldn't find it. And but he goes, it says, you know, the store had it in stock and everything, but for some reason he couldn't find it. Um, so uh, he's like, you know, we'll try and look for it. And if we find it, we'll call you and all that stuff. And so uh, two weeks went by. I never heard anything. So I went back to the store and there was a different person there. And I was like, um, you know, I'm here to see if, you know, anybody found my pop or what's going on with that. And like, I was like, no, nothing's been found. And I was like, well, you know, I pre-order and I pay when I pre-order pops, I pay for them already. So I already bought this. So it's technically mine. They just haven't given it to me yet. Um, he's like, no, we haven't found it. And I was like, well, you know, I paid for it. So I want it. <laughs> You know, I don't want to lose this thing. And I pre-ordered it, and, you know, it's paid for. I won. And he's like, well, let me do some. So he called another store, and they were shipping one. Like, he was talking to them on the phone right in front of me, and they said they were shipping. It should be there that week. Two more weeks went by, and I never heard anything from him. And so I went back in again. So this would now have been a month later from when they actually came in. And I was like, um, is anything, you know, happening? Because, you know... Um, it was supposed to come in and it still hasn't. So I'm like, what's going on with why I'm not getting this green Ranger that I paid for. And you know, if it, you know anything about the pop community and especially the power Rangers, power Rangers are hard to find, especially Tommy ones. And I was like, I pre-ordered it. I want it. I need it. So, you know, I could do videos like this and have it in my collection. And so the guy, you know, they started to get like an attitude with me. I mean, I was being all nice, you know, cause I'm not a mean person at all and stuff. And I was, you know, just, you know, being real nice as I could, you know, saying, you know, I need this, I want it and everything and stuff like that. And I paid for it. I, it's been a month now I need. So a guy called another store and they were shipping one and they were like, okay, we'll let you know when it is. And he's like, make sure your phone works and all this stuff. He's going off about that and everything. So, um, 
finally it came in um, this past week and I finally went and got it yesterday. And of course, the whole time the guy is saying, you know, like, you're lucky you even got this and stuff. And I was like, well, I paid for it or I pre-ordered it and paid for it. Why should I be lucky I even got it and stuff? Because um, I was asking about the Metallic Blue Ranger that they had, which I really want. But um, I didn't know it even existed until they re these finally came out in um, stores and stuff. And so I've kind of missed out on that and everything. But yeah, he was like, you know, giving us that, like, it's all my fault or something that... Um, and I should that I shouldn't even be getting this and stuff, but so it's like it really annoys me because I feel if it came in originally and then they lost it, as they said, I feel you know a employee possibly took it and sold it because you know there's been many accounts um with YouTube videos and in the pop community and stuff of GameStop people taking pops and selling them for you know ridiculous prices and stuff. And for it just to disappear and not be found and then another one to supposedly be shipped to the store and it was gone too. It's like this seems way too um, odd. That or they just weren't paying attention to the pre-orders or the yeah pre-orders and just sold it to whoever wanted. Because like, like one where I was like, oh, we got one. And so they'd sit down and the first person would take it and stuff. So that was my problem with GameStop. But I'm not going to be pre-ordering from at least that one anymore. I'm going to be getting from the actual store. Um, where they've switched staffs and stuff now, so that store is a lot friendlier, and it's a lot closer, so I can stop by it on pretty much a daily basis if need be. Um, but they uh, just wanted to show off um, the new Power Ranger pops because um, many people may not have seen them. Because of course they did have the original three of the white, red, and pink, which were part of the very first set of pops. I think I'm not exactly sure on dates and stuff, and I didn't look this up or anything, but I want to say it was around 2010, 11 ish, like around when they first started maybe even 2012 and stuff. Um, I know they're still like hot topics and stuff and they're at a hundred to like 200, the more dollars now and stuff to find online. And so they released these, you know, the fit and, um, with the collection and everything. Of course, they'd probably be a little better quality since the upgrades of pops and everything. But, um, yeah, just wanted to, um, do a pop video and show these off. Of course, how cool they are to add to my Power Rangers collection that I'm growing quite <laughs> out of room for. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show off those, you know, talk about the old ones. And if you didn't know, they are remaking those original three, but in action poses. So they're, you know, like fighting and Tommy's doing like his weird, I don't know, I don't know what, they did, what they just did there, but his weird stance and stuff, which I think would be really cool. And he's going to have Saab, the White Ranger off Saab in his hand and stuff. So I think that's cool, but it won't fit with these because these are just made like the original where they're just standing there like this, where the old ones will actually be in action poses stuff. But I get they're doing that. To keep the um, people who got the original ones to keep that value on those, even though I think if there's new ones that people won't want those anymore, so the value will go down. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for those. I'll try and have maybe put a picture here or something if I can. Um, I don't know if I will or not, or if I'll be able to even find any. But you can always go on Google to find the action pose Power Rangers and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be it for this episode of My Morphin Collection. Um, be sure to check out um, other videos. Like I don't have, I probably have like four or five other uh, my morphing collection videos of zords and stuff and have a lot more to do just taking a long time to get through them or to get to them and stuff with other all of my other busy life stuff and um so that's gonna be it for this episode be sure to um again like i said check out the other videos hit the like button subscribe and leave any comments you have down below and we'll see you next time <laughs>